When Grameen Foundation first proposed the idea of the App Lab, Google thought this was a unique opportunity to work with exactly the right kind of partner to provide access to information and services that currently were only available on the internet for people who could only access information via the mobile phone. We thought this was an innovative and creative idea and one that we thought would help bring the value of the internet to more people. From the analysis that we looked at, we realized that the majority of people in Uganda still don't really have access either to the internet or really to mobile phones through direct ownership. If you have about three and a half million people with mobile phones and another million or so who access the phones through a shared phone model, we realized that even then it was limited. But it's still the far, by far the most ubiquitous form of access to communication services. And so we thought that not only for Uganda but really worldwide, the mobile phone presents a very unique opportunity to give people not only the information but also the connection that can help them be part of a larger globalized world. The vast majority of people in the world today access information and communication services through the phone. And as we've seen in Africa, which has the largest growth rate in the world for mobile phone ownership and usage, it's a critical tool. And it's also the most ubiquitous platform for reaching even the most excluded, whether it's through direct ownership or a shared model. One of the things that makes Grameen Foundation interesting is they did have the Village Phone Network, which was a shared model program, and today boasts over 20,000 village phone operators nationally. We found this interesting because it provided a platform not only to reach people who already have their phones, but people who currently might be excluded from other types of information services, and specifically the internet. So what we really hoped to do was figure out how can we bring value to people who currently are excluded today, but have access to a mobile phone. And that was really the idea behind the App Lab, the application laboratory. One of the things I've enjoyed most about this collaboration has been the process that we were able to follow. And in Google terms, it's one, it's one that we call user needs driven. What that means is really tailoring the product around the needs that we observed in the market and specifically the kind of feedback that we, we received throughout the product development cycle from users. And in this case, our target users were people who were in remote rural areas, uh, un un underserved populations, maybe high risk, vulnerable groups, uh, basically individuals for whom the internet doesn't really provide a lot of value today, and those people who maybe have the most extreme need for communication and information services. And so the process that we wanted to follow was one that was both based on extensive academic research, but really also field-based research and a combination in between which we call rapid prototyping, which allowed us to do product development in the field and to incorporate a lot of our learnings into the overall process of developing the products. We hope what we have today is something that's relevant and valuable, but what we also hope is that we learn for tomorrow from all the thing that, uh, things that we've done and then shared publicly um, what can now create a much better array of services and product offerings for users.